If you're just starting out on eBay, you're allowed to have your own screen name. Now, some people, when they just start out on eBay, they make the mistake, they come up with some weird or unusual name, and then they decide it is time to change it. And I recommend for you to create an interesting name that is gonna draw people to you. So, for example, this one, this name itself is Cloud 913. Now, the name itself is not going to make that much of a difference in terms of sales, but on the other hand, it is your identity. It is the business identity. And if you want to establish an identity and establish something for them to remember you by, this name becomes a lot more important. So when they buy from you, they want to say that they bought from Cloud 913. It's not really sitting right with the person. There is too many numbers here. The Cloud is fine. The numbers are not. So when it comes for you and if you decide it is time for you to change the user ID, what you have to do is to press on account. Then you're pressing on personal information. Then in the personal information in the account section, we'll be actually going into this part and pressing on edit. After you press on edit itself, it's going to ask you for your screen name and the password. You're putting it right in there. And now you can go and change your user ID. Now you can go and change your user ID. So let's keep in mind the advantages and the disadvantages of changing your user ID. So you can change it to something that is related, what you're buying or selling. And here is the disadvantage of the user ID itself. If you're changing your ID, you can only change it once in 30 days. Once you change it, Whoever is your client previously is going to have a hard time finding you after those 30 days are over, which is a good or a bad thing. So if you want to change your identity, start fresh in 30 days, you can do this once every 30 days. But once you have a solid business, you are not recommended to do this anymore. So do this only once, create a username that you really like and don't keep on changing it because people are gonna have a hard time uh, finding you again. So when it's time for you to create a new user ID, don't use numbers, don't use your email address, don't use anything that's gonna make it more of an identity issue. So if somebody uh, knows that this could be part of your email or part of your password, you are putting a security risk in your ID name. Your ID name should not be this. On the other hand, it should be something that is easy for somebody to find. It should be something that's going to make them really uh, want to buy from you. So let's give an example of a name here. I'm going to put it made in USA. It could be an example of an interesting name here. Or USA shop. That sounds pretty right to me. So something like USA shop, somebody goes in here, they know it's an United States shop. It sounds like something that you could go into a store itself and buy from. That's actually the ideal type of name. So you're pressing on this, you're pressing on and you're checking it and it's going to tell you if this name is going to work or not. Now, a lot of times the name itself may be already taken and you just have to experiment until you're going to keep on coming up with something original. So let's try a second name here. And since I'm doing this for a go, we're going to be calling it uh, Purple Shop. Let's try it that, for example. And you're checking it and it gives me the name. So it lets me in. And here is the big thing that you have to keep in mind because you're changing the name if the name itself is not taken it's going to automatically assign it to you it's not going to ask you if you should or you shouldn't take this name it's just going to give it to you and it just gave me this name although i wasn't too sure if i wanted it it still assigned it to me so now in the next 30 days i'm stuck with this name so think twice before you decide whatever name you want to assign to your shop because you'll be stuck with it for the next 30 days if you don't like the name of the shop itself 
you can after the 30 days change it again another thing to keep in mind this is your id to log on ebay itself so now don't use your previous id use your new id and then you can log into ebay with this in mind remember the name of your shop is the name of your identity and now it's time to go in and make more changes to make more money and make your shop more profitable. See you in the next lecture.